coming to you with a uh, Yulanzi a vlogging a review. Actually, it's a Yulanzi case for the GoPro, but you can also use it for. Uh, vlogging simply because it has the mic adopter at the uh, bottom of it. It's lightweight, made out of uh, plastic, and it would uh, fit the 5, 6, and 7 black. I do not know for the rest of them, which is the silver and so forth, but it would fit the black. The case comes with a double shoe mount. I guess that's a riser. If you just put your microphone with the dead cat, it would be in the lens of the GoPro. So that's to raise it. The door has a latch head. You could use your finger to press it down and then slide or you could simply press here and pull and that would remove the door on the case. The case was designed especially for the GoPro adopter which the sound quality I haven't used mine as yet I was made to understand the sound quality is not that good so GoPro made an adopter and most vlogging rigs I've seen they have that hanging on the side or use velcro to attach it to whatever case they have you can get this on amazon i will put a link in the description for everything i use here today but this is available on amazon for 49 49 something some aftermarket sellers have it for a hundred up to two hundred dollars but I waited when Amazon had it in stock I took two to set up the rig you put the cable in first because it's on the other side you have to do a bit of dangling and get it in it fits tightly in and then we take the GoPro to get the GoPro out of the case you put a thumb on either side and you gently push and it comes out To place your uh, GoPro in, you would have to remove this 
Cristo que okay. because that opening is so small you won't be able to open the door once it's inside once it's in there's no way you could get the door open and if this was all the way down here yes but as is before you put your GoPro in you have to remove the door to remove the door this is you depress that and you slide down then you open you turn it you put your finger on this waterproof padding and you give a gentle pull if you notice it has an opening here it was designed to come out you put the door in a safe place because you don't want to lose it if you do lose it that means your GoPro is no longer waterproof until you purchase another one you slide the GoPro in and then you put your door to secure it in place and here is it to attach the cable do not put it in this way as you notice the cable still has the stiffness it's still new you would take the cable like that put it up and turn it that way put the loop at the top not the bottom if you notice it has that the only thing is this protruding out which if you hike in or, or whatever something could knock that or if it fall on this it could do some damage yeah now you could it depends on what you have huh? you can remove this bottom piece it depends on what selfie stick or mini tripod you have you remove that and you place it on your GoPro this way this is it again what mic you have I have the ceremonic I hope I pronounce the name correctly that's the dead cat and you place your mic here it depends if you interviewing somebody you turn the mic this way or if you doing a scenery you turn the mic towards you and then you explain what it is you're doing you would screw your holder here and you could hold your GoPro in this fashion now if you have a 
Schumont mic, which I have the Amazon Basic. It comes with a user's manual and a guide. This is the mic, also it has a carrying bag, a muff, and a battery. place your mic right here and take your cable and plug it into the port and this is it. The mic has uh, on and off switch and from 0 to 10 dB this button here <clears throat> I don't know the functions of it as yet it's also been powered or it's been powered by a battery it's a CR2 3 volts battery. That is the battery, which it's not that common. So I got myself a box of 12. I don't know how long the battery would last once I start using it. So I bought a box of 12 uh, batteries. You screw this back. Just remember your GoPro. Once you take out the door, it's not waterproof. That means your mic isn't waterproof either. And this is the Ulanzi vlogging setup. The case is pretty light because it's made out of plastic compared to this one I purchased forever come. I was disappointed in that one simply because on my GoPro I have a screen protector and once I put the GoPro into this I cannot put the door which I bought that metal case it's aluminum because of the door because of that extra security instead of tightening this I bought that case the case didn't have that at the bottom 
which I purchased that separately. That's for the mic adopter. I purchased that separately. Just I needed something tough. For if I go out and my GoPro fall, I know the plastic will not damage or, 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 or crack. Not will not, but there's a possibility of it cracking. Although I don't know the texture of the material and how dur durable it will be. So I took this for you. If it, the GoPro do take a fall in the case, it will just shock it but not much damage will happen and the other thing i took that for is because when putting it in you have to press so the ball bear that ball bear there would go in Make sure you get it in and slide it down and it clip. I bought it because of, of the UV lens. It has a protector on it. disappointment for me I cannot use it for me to use the GoPro in this I have to take out the screen protector and I rather have the screen protector to protect my glass from scratches It can take another shoe mount here, which I guess put this one on the side. You could use any other adopter on it. And down here, I'll be putting it on the tripod. So I will not be using the other shoe mount it comes with down here that's it for now if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe you can also share the video until the next one Peace and love. Better let go. Uh, get aside if you ever.